Hi everyone. So on Friday, I posted a reading about a group of masculines that were basically, they were going through a lot of pain, a lot of anxiety, very nostalgic, really in their head, but I felt an energy shift. It felt like they're, they're starting to take more accountability. And with that reading I posted Friday, I was getting that there might've been some kind of conversation that came in or that's about to come in that's triggering this in them. Like someone kind of helped them see something from a new perspective. So I wanted to go more in depth into, that was one of the epiphanies that I was getting that I, that I picked up on in that reading. There's multiple epiphanies that these masculines had and one of them had to do with some kind of conversation that came in. So if you resonate with this, you might resonate with that reading that I posted too. But let's see, what was that conversation? And it feels positive. It feels like... It feels like a friend of theirs that, yeah, truth and clarity, communication. The devil. Why the devil? Nine of swords. I'm almost getting for some it could be spirit guide communication. Like one of their spirit guides actually got through to them finally. But for, for most of you, I feel like this was a conversation with a friend. Yeah, Knight of Swords is information coming through. This could be someone that they work with. Because it doesn't, I do feel like these masculines do have a lot of toxic people around them at times. Like, because I do keep getting this information, like, in the past, in the readings we've been doing the past few days, I keep getting that there's someone that they know that they have to cut out, somebody that was controlling, toxic. They're recognizing that there's some uh, Queen of Pentacles type that is basically blocking them from, you know, happiness, abundance. They're they're kind of seeing things more clearly now. So they're wanting to cut someone out that might have been separating you guys. Yeah, I feel like this information. So what this conversation was about. I feel like it was a tough love conversation. I feel like this was a genuine friend of theirs, someone that really does care about them. Maybe somebody who's tell me tell me about this person. Tell me tell me about who they are. The chariot. The five of swords. The three of wands. Queen of Cups, the world. I feel like one of the things they told them is if they wait around for the ships to come in, if they're if they stay in this conflict mode, if they aren't really moving forward with integrity, that there might be some kind of cycle here that that wraps up with this Queen of Cups. Basically, if they aren't coming, it was some, some, I think someone pushed them forward towards you. This could be someone that they vent to or someone that they open up about, you know, maybe they open up about their feelings towards you with this person. And I feel like this person told them, like, hey, get out of conflict. Like, they might have given the, them this kind of speech, like, you know, go after love, go after your dreams, uh, open your heart, like, you only live once, like, do you really want to you know, do you want to be like alone when you're 50s, 60s, 70s? Like it's better to just, to just open your heart and go after what feels right. I feel like they might've given them kind of like a, a you snooze, you lose speech. You know what I mean? Like that they, they it could even be a mutual friend that maybe talks some sense into them. Ace of Swords and the Devil and the Nine of Swords and Knight of Swords too. I feel like they, I feel like this person helped the, this masculine, could be a feminine too, take it as it resonates, but they helped this person see things from a different perspective. The Knight of Swords is information coming through. And I feel like this is someone that this masculine uh, respects. Somebody, maybe like a coworker or a boss or someone who's older, someone who's wiser someone that they know doesn't have toxic intentions for them, you know, someone that they can just kind of go to just to vent. And this person's very, uh, I get like a very gentle kind of patient energy, very wise, mature energy from this person that they vent to. 
And I feel like they pointed out a pattern of theirs with the devil card. The devil can be about, it's things that hold us back. It's devil energy. It's, it's, you know, being tied down in, in negative ways. It's, you know, it's anxiety, fears, uh, patterns, traumas, you know, the things that hold us back. And I think this person kind of just came forward and said, hey, you know, you're holding yourself back. This things aren't as bad as they seem. You know, this anxiety is it's it's in your head. You're getting nine of swords is someone who's having insomnia, anxiety, somebody who's, you know, it's almost like this energy of their fears creating their reality. Like they assume the worst and they start, not that they start attracting the worst, but they just assume the worst in people. They assume the worst in situations. And so it's almost like they, what is it like, uh, is it cognitive dissonance? I'm trying to always get the terms mixed up. But it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy is kind of what I'm feeling. Like they kind of do it to themselves. They expect the worst, so they almost subconsciously look for that like they almost it's almost like they trigger that in people so that they can be like yeah see that person was crazy they were just going to leave me anyway or it's like they're subconsciously attra attracted to you know negative people or toxic people and maybe they like push away good people because it's almost like it, it it's like a subconscious process that's going on here that they, they probably don't realize that they're doing it but it's almost like it confirms it's like they subconsciously go out and look for um, confirmation of their own insecurities. So, you know, being drawn to toxic people or allowing toxic people in or only listening to, you know, talk like to negative advice or negative people, like letting toxic people control them. It's like self-sabotage, basically. It's like it confirms, you know, their their subconscious deep-rooted traumas and insecurities. It's, it's kind of like... You know, they find that conscious, that, that physical world confirmation that kind of matches what they're feeling deep down. And I feel like this person that came through really maybe became aware of a pattern that this masculine has in relationships, maybe sabotaging themselves. And they kind of pointed it out. Hey, you're, you're your own worst enemy here. You're causing, you're causing yourself this anxiety. You're, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy here. You need to do the healing work. You need to look at these patterns. You need to clear whatever this is. It's like you need to clear this energy up. Yeah, if you want to be the king of pentacles, it's like you have to stop blocking yourself from abundance. Why the Three of Cups? They might have warned them about someone in their life too. They might have warned them about um, maybe about entertaining third parties, I feel. Like kind of gave them a tough love speech, you know, like like don't get caught up in in third parties, in illusion, in drama. Like you need to you need to be logical and balanced here and really think about what's important. Okay, let's wrap this up. What else? What else did they say? Yeah, they might have told them too that they need to go inward. I feel like this person did encourage them to go towards you, towards this Queen of Cups. Like I do feel like they did encourage them to, you know, like like kind of like a you snooze, you lose kind of speech. Like, hey, if you want this person, if this is your true love, you need to follow your heart. And not let this cycle wrap up and not just do the same thing over and over again. Because if you do, if you stay in this conflict energy, if you keep waiting, if you're not making a move, then this, this opening with this queen of cups might end up, you know, the world, it might end up, there might not, end, there might end up not being an opening at some point because you're not moving, you're not doing anything. You're staying in the state of conflict. You're staying in the state of, of waiting, of not being in a masculine role, of not taking action towards her. So this, this might be somebody that has like a lot of integrity. They have um, maybe like a lot of confidence too, or they're like, you know, the women want to see you take action. Like you, you need to go after this woman. 
but I feel like I feel like they also encourage them to go inward and with the hermit energy it's like two of pentacles maybe this masculine is he's kind of conflicted it, it's like he's kind of lost like not maybe not sure of who he is not sure of what he wants anymore um, I think he does know deep down that he does want this Queen of Cups, but I just think he's kind of uh, kind of juggling a lot in his life. And I feel like this person encouraged him to to go inward and to use his intuition to connect with his spirit guides, to listen to his higher self. They're like, you know, maybe go into hermit mode for a while, cut out all these outside opinions, cut out, you know, toxic people. Just just listen to your own inner voice, develop your own inner, inner voice, listen to your spirit guides. It's like, I feel like this person is seeing that this masculine is getting caught up in, in illusions, in, in drama, in other people's opinions all the time, you know, especially in like negative opinions, like people that don't want to see him happy, people that don't want to see him, people that want to control him, people that don't want to see him happy and, and see him, you know, have true love and have, you know, good things in his life. It's like, I think that I think this person, or P could be a couple, a couple of people here too, actually, but I think whoever they are, it's like they they kind of have a little bit of a a, a protective energy about them. They're kind of protective of this masculine. So it could be like an older guide, an older mentor here, but yeah, I think they're encouraging him to just kind of be alone right now, um, and listen to his own inner, his own inner voice. Listen to his spirit guides. Really do some soul searching. Do some deep digging. Figuring out who he is and what he wants out of life, out of love, out of career. Just they might have given him information on on multiple areas of his life. They're like, you know what, you need to you need to stop listening to everyone else around you. They they might have even been like, hey, don't even listen to us. Listen to yourself. Like listen, go inward. You know, you've been all over the place, you've been juggling, you've been kind of lost mentally, like you need to go inward and, and, and really connect with yourself more and, and stop being so impressionable, stop letting other people's opinions affect you so much, or you're just gonna, you're gonna keep juggling, you're gonna be mentally conflicted if you allow other people's opinions to, to get you down like that, and you're just all over the place listening to all these different people, like you need to learn to trust yourself again, you need to learn to listen to yourself again. And you need to learn to just be willing to be wrong sometimes. You know, when you develop your intuition, you're still, you still have fears coming up. Like it's a process as you learn to develop your intuition. Like you will still get it wrong sometimes, but it, it's like as you, if you're willing to be wrong, if you're willing to let your pride, put your pride aside and, and dig deeper and go inward and develop your intuition. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a process, but eventually you learn, you'll it's, it's like, it's like anything that you learn, you're not going to be graded at it first but it's a trial and error process. And as you learn to develop your intuition and kind of develop your own language with your spirit guides, you'll, you'll, you'll learn how to connect with yourself and how to, you know, hear your own inner voice and, and your own truth. And you'll know what's right. You'll feel what's right without having to have all these conflicting opin outside opinions around you, you know? Yeah, someone told them too that they need to get out of kind of a victim mentality, but they told it, they said it in a nice way, I think, that they need to bring about this balance in their life and they need to build like teamwork, like they need to, you know, whatever path they choose, it's like they need to get on the same page and realize people aren't their enemy. Three of Pentacles is building with someone. Ace of Pentacles. Why the Ten of Swords? Three of Swords. Page of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Why? Hmm. Knight of Wands. Justice. Yeah, I really feel like it was like a tough love speech, but it's almost like this. This these people around them are almost kind of motherly and fatherly in a way, to to some extent. Like they kind of look out for this person. I feel like they told them, like, you keep doing the same stuff over and over again, it is going to lead to heartbreak. You know what I mean? Knight of Wands can be somebody that's very passionate, but honestly, it can be someone who's kind of an F-boy. And I feel like, I feel like they said it in a gentle way, but I feel like they said it, if you keep, if you keep going through these same cycles, if you keep doing the same thing, third parties, drama, um, 
it's it's like it's just going to be the same it like it's just, it, you, you, they're like you're just going to be in the same boat again and again it's going to lead to heartbreak if you're not aligning with who you are with your soul it's just going to yeah justice i almost feel like this these people are kind of becoming aware of this person's like how do i explain it like this person, these people might have, might have, um, he probably, when he talks about this queen of cups that he loves, like this is actually his true love. He might've talked to them about the karmic too, that he was dealing with. But with this queen of cups that he loves, I feel like he almost, I don't, I don't want to say that he tried to make her look bad, but I almost feel like he left out certain details of this connection. Like if he did her wrong, like if he kind of backstabbed her, like betrayed her, um, you know, cheated, had third parties, maybe neglected her, like didn't see her very often, only came around when he was bored and lonely, like didn't really make her feel special, didn't really make her feel loved, didn't really make an effort to be in her life. I almost feel like they saw him like in this depressed state or this sad state over this Queen of Cups. And he kind of tried to like, almost make her out to be, um, how do I explain this? Like, she knew about this Queen of Pentacles. She knew about the Queen of Pentacles. I almost feel like they kind of made her out to be, um... I wouldn't say they talk shit about her to this person, but it, it, to this friend that they were venting to, but it's almost like they made her out to be, like jealous or they made her out to be like they didn't they only told their side of the story of course they they made themselves look good they didn't tell both sides of the story you know what I mean like if they said like if they vented to if they vented to this friend they're like yeah she's like being jealous or she's being dramatic or like she like flipped out on me or she got angry at me like he kind of downplays what made her get to that point what pissed her off what was upsetting her all the pain that she went through you know what I mean? Kind of presenting it like like he's innocent and she's just, you know, dramatic. Or she just got jealous. She just woke up one day and started being jealous. You know what I mean? Like only telling little bits of the story. And I feel like this person has kind of seen through it. Um, they still have love for this, for this, you know, this friend of theirs still loves them and wants the best for them. But I feel like this person, especially with the justice card here, it's like they're kind of they're, they they know that there's more to this story. They they know that they haven't heard this Queen of Cups side of the story, basically. So this friend of yours, it could be like a friend that doesn't even, this could be a friend of theirs that doesn't even know who this Queen of Cups is. They've just heard about you or they've seen, maybe he's shown them pictures of you. But it's, yeah, it's it's like they kind of, they're coming to this awareness that that, you know, there's two sides to the story because something's not adding up. And so I feel like in a very gentle way, they're kind of trying to tell this person, hey, stop being an F boy, stop having third parties, like you need to, whatever direction you go in, you need to connect with yourself and figure out who you are and figure out what you want. Um, yeah, like, like you need to make decisions, you need to go through like a transformation is kind of what this person was telling them. With the lovers, lovers is about a choice. It could be soulmates, twin flames. Death is like a death and like a rebirth, like a, a like a ending and beginning kind of thing. So they're like, you know what? You need to take responsibility. You need to take control of your life. You need to make your own decisions without other people's influence. You need to go through a psychic awakening. You need to go through a rebirth here. You need to go through a transformation. Yeah, you need to make a judgment call here about who your true town of pentacles is, who your true love is, who you really want to build with, who you want to be with. Like you need to, I almost feel like even if this person encouraged them to go towards this queen of cups, they still kind of told them like, hey, you need to decide for yourself though what's right for you. Like don't even, this is just my, because this person's so impressionable. And so they're like, this is just my perspective. And, and everyone's perspective is based on, you know, what they've been through, their traumas, their fears, what they've gone through. 
you know, no one is you. It's like, it's like when someone's telling you their, their story, it's, it's their story specifically. And I think this person that they, they go to to vent, I think this person is very wise, very mature, maybe someone that's older than them. Because I feel like this person is, is like, like they, they understand multiple perspectives you know, they're very intelligent. So it's like this person is like, you know, this is only my perspective. This is only based on my experience, what I've gone through dating. But your experience might be different because your your past is different. Your What you've gone through is different. Your perspective, everyone's perspective is different. And this person that they vent to has that deep understanding of that. So they're like, yeah, personally, I would go for this queen of cups. Like I would go for if this is, you know, you say this woman like, has loved you for a long time, has had your back. Yeah, personally, I would go for that. But you have to make this decision on your own. You got to make a judgment call. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what any of these toxic people around you think. With the hermit card, it's like you need to go inward. You need to develop your own intuition. It's time for you to do this. You know, kind of like a tough love speech. Like you need to go through this transformation and and make this judgment call on, on, you know, where do you see yourself in five, 10 years? Who do you see yourself with? Like what will genuinely make you happy? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. What do you think? What do you feel? You need to develop your intuition and, and find these answers yourself and not sabotage yourself. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get in your head. Don't think worst case scenario, like really, you know, center yourself, ground yourself, do some healing. They might have even encouraged this person to take a vacation or take some time off uh, work or, or go somewhere. Okay, let's wrap this up. Any final messages? Yeah, I feel like this conversation brought this person, this masculine um, clarity, the sun, clarity, positive energy. Yeah, and I feel like they're walking away from... Um, from being prideful and stubborn and holding on to their comfort zone, I feel like they also kind of want to, it's kind of like they're a page. Pages are kind of childish energy, but I'm almost seeing it in like a positive context because it's like, page of cups can also be someone who's like starting out new. So it's almost like they don't know how to fully express their emotions like a king of cups would. But it's like they're they're starting to, they're starting to, this person's a good influence on them. And I think that they're seeing too that this person has a successful life and they they follow their heart. This person is this person that they look up to. It's like they follow their heart. They follow their intuition. They're they're they they stand. They're they're very true to themselves. And they're it's kind of changing their perspective because they're like, oh wow, I could be like that too. It's like they really admire this person. They want to be like them. They're like, I could you know I could do that too. I could I could follow my heart and follow my intuition too. And maybe I can have this like this happy life that they have. It's like. You know, they're realizing they're, they're just coming to these this awareness and they're walking away from um, from being prideful, stubborn from from holding themselves back. So it's really good energy. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.